Hello everyone, um, today I will be reviewing the Push Along Diamond Thomas. So, this thing has been out for a while now, and I've actually had one for a while now, about a month. I got it in October? Around, like, the end of October, before Halloween, I know that. And, it's December right now, December 6th, and... I just thought I'd finally do a video on it. Um, I actually got this in the new style push along packaging, packaging, not the Trackmaster push along. It's the new push along stuff. So technically, this is my first push along item. My first motorized item was the Thomas Annie and Clarabelle pack. Um, but yeah, this guy is really cool. Um, yeah, so let's start off with the front. So, he's got special designs on his buffers, so that's why I didn't make them black buffers, because special design. Of course, he's got the front coupling, like, I'm pretty sure most push-alongs do. I, I think there's one with that, I'm not sure. Um, of course, he's got that ridiculously wide base, but of course, he has to be able to fit on the Trackmaster track, so I understand. He's got a clear base, actually. It says... This camera's really blurry. Uh, it says 2018. So, this is probably from the same base as the one that goes with the Super Cruiser. That's just what I'm guessing. But he's kind of got this, like, shifting paint. Like, from right here, it looks like just, like, a plain black paint. But then over here, it's a bit brighter. And it goes back to that. So, I think this model is really cool. So, let's keep looking at it. So here's one of the sides. It's got, of course, the, it's like all the same areas like with the lines and stuff, but it's got the special diamond stuff. Of course, on the side of the smoke box, it's got this chrome. That's the only area with the chrome. Um, he's got clear glitter wheels. On the back, he's got more like diamond detailing. I got the same buffers. And of course, that weird modified... Um, coupling that a lot of the motorized engines and push along engines have now. Um, I don't really mind it. It looks it looks tougher and stronger, and it doesn't bend as easily. So, I guess if it's strong, it's fine. Um, same detailing on this side. Oh, and he's got the blue running board. Um, on the top here, he's got a lot of lines, um, on stripes, and he has a 75th logo right there. So yeah, if you see this guy in a store, make sure to pick him up. Uh, I actually found this at um, a medicine store called CVS. Um, it was right down the street. I just rode down there. There was a push along Nia in front of it, and then, and um, yeah, I saw a push along Nia, and I saw another push along engine. I thought, oh, it's probably just gonna be another Nia or a regular Thomas. But lo and behold, there was Thomas. And they didn't have a price tag. Well, they did, but I didn't pay attention. I quickly ran to my dad and showed him, and he said I could get it. Then I went back and I saw the price was twelve ninety nine. Kind of pricey, if you ask me. But um, he said he would pay for it. Um, cause yeah. So I was like, I had the money, but like it 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 was expensive, but. Yeah, this is a really cool dude. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna use him in my series or not, but definitely one of the most important parts of my Thomas collection. Yeah, so I'll see you guys in the next video. I'll probably be showing off my custom duck next, and then maybe my Boko. I modified him a bit so he'd like his left side was just really crinkled up, so I made him a new left side. It's still not as good. There's like a like a bit of a gap between that and the roof, but um yeah. So yeah. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.